Hey guys, what's up? It's Killer Prodigy, giving you guys a game on Villa Demolition. And I'm using, I believe, the dual gold HS10s, so I just got those. Trying to get more games for you guys with more gold guns and whatnot. And I have my guest with me. Our Hito Po again. And we're going to be continuing our conversation about PlayStation Network and Sony. And how it got shut down. And, and how all it got shut down. Stuff. And stuff. Okay, who Alex is in this game? Oh yeah, see, that's how, <laughs> if you go back, that's how you spell my name weirdly, you know? Right I mean, it's so funny just right trying to att see many players in the lobby attempt to say my name. Right. <laughs> it's just so funny. From, from Rudapol. Rudapol. To... Ooh, that was nice. To... I don't even know. I don't even know. They try to... They don't even, sometimes they don't sound out there. Yeah. They just like make the R uh -huh. silent. Rudapol. Yeah. Rudapol. Because my full last name is actually Hugh DePaul. There's actually an L at the end. Except, I don't know, my, like I said before in, my, in the previous videos, my dad somehow forgot the L. Don't know why. Forgot the L. Uh, that's funny. Okay, PSN. Yeah. And I think we, uh, last time we talked about PSN, we were talking about how what, ha what our first reaction was when it first came down. Like, we had no clue what was going on. And that was like... The first four days, I think. I'd yeah, take a good about first four days. First four days to a week. Mm -hmm. To the first week. And... What am I doing? Oh, I know what I'm doing. Okay. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, and then... We had to wait another week, because I think they wanted to get it up on the weekend. Yeah. That's what I was guessing. Yeah, that's, that's what I was guessing. That would be a good day to get it back up, so because it like, plays PS3 like constantly <laughs> during the week day. So, I was like, okay, well, we have to wait a week. That's not bad. No, and that's... then, like, the weekend came around. Nothing happened. And then nothing. Nothing. And we were like, what? And then, that was the second week, right? Yeah, that was the second week, I think. And, what, what and they, what forgive us if we screw up our timelines. Yeah. I, it's just from our memory fresh. We yeah. didn't do any intensive research so that we know exactly time by time, date by date when this happened. <laughs> I did my research while it was down. Yes, <laughs> and we do not want to remember that. That's one yeah. research we don't want to remember. I went to the I went to the PS site at least five times a day just to see if there was a new update. Yeah. And, and like usually if they're, if they're kind enough, at the end of every day around night ish, like ten o'clock ish, eleven maybe, they do an update. Which they stopped doing. You know what's that? Like mm -hmm. the last week. We're gonna jump to the last week here. Yeah. The last week they only like, did it like every four days. I was getting really annoyed because like we didn't know what they were doing. Mm -hmm. They're like, Oh, it's gonna be up soon and then, like four days later. It's gonna be up soon. Yeah, and so uh, when PS when the PSN or whatever decided not to update the website anymore, I decided to go on Google News and type it in because apparently this was such a big deal that even Google News. I survived this. the PSN outage of 2011. Yes. Wikipedia. A, <laughs> whenever you look at Wikipedia at this, we survived it. Matter of fact, in our lifetime so far, we survived two major PS3 uh, malfunctions. And the first one, if you may remember, like a long time ago, like a couple years ago, maybe last year it was. Is that uh, something about the clock got screwed up on the old PS3 systems, not the new ones, but well, the old ones? Me. Like and, why does us? Yeah, why? Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I, don't, I didn't understand it, but it apparently screwed up our systems, and people were actually in danger of losing all their Call of Duty uh, files. Oh, this was back during Modern Warfare 2. This was before Black Ops came out. Not that I remember. Yeah. Which I would have been okay with. I would have yeah. been okay with that. I didn't really care mm -hmm. for Modern Warfare 2. <laughs> my stats. Well, actually, what are they gonna get rid? Of? They could have got rid of like all your stats. Yeah, like, I think. It, yeah, data. that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I think that's what, like all your PSD stats, not just oh. your Call Call of Duty stats. All your data could have been gone. Mm -hmm. But and then it was down. Yeah, well, it wasn't down as long though. No, not nearly as long. This was like three, four weeks. You think three, four weeks? Yeah. This was only done like a couple days. Yeah, it's like I think that was like three days. Yeah, three. So. Days. I think, yeah, I think you're right. Three days. That was in Wikipedia when I looked it up last time. I was like, wow, I survived that. I lived through that. The freaking main, mm -hmm. the main thing they say about PlayStation is the outage now on yeah. Wikipedia. And I think it's funny. Mm -hmm. but it's terrible. Yeah, but so anyways, yeah, I go on Google News and apparently there's all these different types of rumors going around saying different stuff about PS3 and how like, oh yeah, the group Anonymous Hackers or whatever. Yeah. Um... And then there was like something about there was a civil war with the hackers, like I don't know, oh, I people. About that. Yeah, people saying that people within the group say that they had nothing to do with it, 
whatever, like the stealing of credit cards and everything, which I was really worried about because I had mom check my uh, check our credit card uh, information extensively, like almost every day because supposedly, like if the if anyone's credit card has been misused who had PS3 on, they would have Sony would have given like a thousand or million dollar whatever insurance policy. Which would have been nice, but thankfully no one's credit card data, as of what well, I know, we know, has has been misused, which is good. Because I don't know if Sony could have survived that if uh, someone's credit card information has been misused. Because that's I think that's the only reason why Sony survived. Because there were so many lawsuits against Sony for... Uh, <laughs> because they were so people were so pissed off and worried about... If uh, like the credit card data. information, personal data has been misused. Yep. And there was like a really big lawsuit, like of $2 billion or whatever against Sony if the credit card information has been misused or whatever. And thankfully for Sony at least, nothing has happened. They got real lucky. They got real lucky because they wouldn't have been able to survive that at all. I was surprised they were able to survive in the fact that people were like buying Xboxes and crap. Yeah. Like they were also, yeah, another, another interesting thing that happened too, like I was reading the survey, like apparently the people in the UK or whatever were really pissed off that almost all of them like bought Xboxes. Apparently this one store saw like an <laughs> increase in prices or increase in sales for Xbox but because yeah. people kept returning the PS3s for the Xbox. However, another funny story I had though with that is I had also not a friend but an acquaintance from my school who had a PS3, <laughs> who just right after the PS3 went up again, he sold his PS3. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, that sucks. He sold his PS3 right when the, it got back up and bought on the Xbox, which wow. sucks for him because he has to pay monthly like for that now. He's a little behind on schedule. Yeah. Right if you can pretty good mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. You got away earlier. Wow, that's kind of sad. No, I, also, I had Xbox, so I, I, you can consider my, me lucky because uh, I could play both systems. And I and I know you could have gotten trophies while doing the outage, but I didn't want it to be another like screw up where if you get a trophy, oh, your yeah. whole stats go to hell. Oh well, yeah, they didn't really tell us that stuff like that would be okay until yeah. like the last week. Yeah, yeah, like they told us nothing. That's exactly like people were worried like what would happen to all our trophy and save information and stuff and our oh, yeah. places to store yeah. information. That's what annoyed me though the most is that they didn't tell us anything except for it'll be up in a couple of days, and they said that about. Five, seven times, yeah. ten times. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing it says, thanks for your, uh, what is it, for your patience. Yeah. It's like, well, after like three weeks went by, we were very patient, yeah. honestly. I say we were pretty damn patient. We were pretty damn patient for quite a while. Yeah. And I know people like are saying right now, oh, pe they're just a bunch of geeks or nerds complaining about PS3 shit because they have no lives. Well, that's not, that's not true at all. I mean, just from a standpoint of a business standpoint, and considering how poorly Sony, as a company or corporation, dealt with this problem, it, it's it's pretty bad. I mean, X. I know Xbox when the Xbox 360 first came out in December, whatever the year of 2008, I think it was released. Like it was down for two weeks because uh, of like system malfunctions because they they released the system too damn early, and they didn't do any uh do anything to like fix it until like two weeks later. So like Microsoft and Sony, they both have the major downfalls for like Sony was really lax on getting security up and Microsoft was too lax on like making sure the systems were ready before releasing it on the market which was a so just from a business standpoint how poorly these companies deal with each other deal with their problems it's kind of bad and also like I know you don't pay for the PS3 but there's people with a live up well not live PS3 plus as they call it I think those guys are idiots. Yeah, I, mean, I think those guys are idiots too. Pay for it. I don't know. It doesn't make, it, it's not much of an advantage, yeah. honestly. Like the only advantage I saw before was that for the mod for the like recently came out of uh, Mortal Kombat, you could get the demo yeah. slightly That's earlier, about, like, slightly honestly, earlier yeah, than you could get the Mortal Kombat demo a week before than the regular people. <laughs> yeah, they paid thirty extra bucks for it. Yeah, I it's like good for you, and I know you can buy like games for a discounted price, but in all seriousness, I'd rather just buy my games on disc. Yeah. Because first off, it's cheaper to buy online, but it takes forever trying to install the game. Yeah. It, it does, and I and I don't know. I'm just a person who likes to have a disc. Speaking of games, though, I like the fact that Xbox people that were like making fun of us because PSN was down. Then they were like, "Wow, it was actually a good thing that it went down because we get free games. Mm -hmm. That we get our two free games." Yeah. 
Which I, which I think can go both ways because I could see a person who both has those games that they came out with and they'd be like, wow, we got screwed over. True. I, I feel bad for them, but... That is true. And that's why I think that they should have a wider variety of range of games. Oh, yeah. They could buy like five? Yeah, or four, I think. Five. Is it? It's definitely five. Really? I think so. What's the other game? I know it's Infamous, it's Little Big Planet. Little Big Planet, Wipeout. Wipeout. And, uh... There are two other arcade games you probably don't know. Dead Nation. Dead Nation. I don't know. I know there's a fifth one. Oh, I mean, yeah, maybe yeah, it's yeah. not a game. Maybe yeah, it's like yeah, something yeah, yeah, yeah. else. Okay. Wow. Or something. We, we already won. Come on. What's the other team doing? I don't know, Obviously man. Obviously nothing. That got like 5 and 47. Jesus Christ. Like I said before, I am... Bu that was not one of my better games. 33 and 14, you can probably see. But... I don't know. This is a long time ago. I went... Uh, what did I do? I went fifth. Freaking Rusty did better than me. What the hell? Why don't I upload this game? No. <laughs> Well, we need his times of uh, moments. Oh, yeah, we need true. his moments up there. As you can tell, Rusty fans is finally 15 prestige. It only took about 13 days. Yeah. I'm not even 15 prestige well, yet. You haven't played as long. So. Yeah, true. I only played like four days. Yeah. Maybe. So uh, I went uh, 50 and 7 with no plants and diffuses. Yeah. Uh, with the HS10's gold. And uh, any final thoughts on PS10? Um, I'm. I'm sure there's a ton of final thoughts I could do, but we'll save those for for later videos. All right. Okay. So that's game. Um, recent score. Uh, please rate and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you later. We'll see you later.